All right, so today we're here with Fergie and this is her roadmap to success. When I first got here, um, she came over to greet me, but she had really calm, wonderful energy and she has displayed that throughout the entire session. As after I arrived, she went over on the, uh, over by the fireplace and just laid down and stayed cool and she was a really great energy. So today the guardians wanted to go over how to help her not be so reactive to dogs and people. So I suggested to them to also look up on our website, counter conditioning. Counter conditioning is all one word. And to also look up the leadership exercise. We covered that today. And this helps her, um, Fergie adopt a uh, follower mindset and look to her guardians for leadership and direction. So they can look up leadership exercise as well on our Dog on Problem website, which is up on the search term to the um, my left. So what we primarily focused on is she started pulling and trying to go ahead of her guardians on the leash. So we have a video above this on her loose leash walking, and that's starting off without anything on her. Um, she doesn't have a leash on to begin with, and she's, we're in a fenced in yard, so that's keeping her nice and safe. Once the guardian has gotten to the point where they can walk in a straight line and kind of move around the yard, I wanna encourage you to start putting a leash on her and still doing this in the yard. Adding the leash to the exercise will actually change it and it'll be a new distraction and a new challenge. So you wanna make sure that you first practice and master it without a leash and then get to the point of adding a leash in and then moving um, out to the front yard, maybe going in the driveway and working on that, the uh, loose leash walking exercise probably two times a day for the next couple of weeks until you get to the point where she's following you everywhere around really calmly and you're able to bring her out front and she still stays with you in a nice heel position. The other thing that we've started practicing because she is more reactive to dogs is to use like an emergency U-turn. So what we start doing is working on helping her, uh, the guardians use this U-turn to keep her away from dogs that are approaching until they have used the counter conditioning exercises and possibly sign up for a class to help her um, overcome her anxiety and reactivity to other dogs. So what the U-turn exercise is, is to walk, first start practicing at home, then go outside and increase the, uh, the distractions, walk in a straight line, say you, and turn around. You wanna go around her, so you're on the outside. She's going to be on the inside. And keep practicing this sharp U-turn. This will help her feel really confident that when you're out for a walk and you say you, then she knows that you're gonna turn around. That way she's not reacting to the other dogs um, and she doesn't really have the opportunity to. You've taken the leadership position and moved her away from that type of distraction and her not needing to react to that. Um, the other thing that we started working on was look. So she already knew the word look and that she knew that that meant to look up at the guardian's face. What I want them to start working on is increasing the duration. And again, we want to increase duration before we increase distraction. So you want to get to 30 seconds to about a minute inside before you move to the backyard. When you move to the backyard, you want to make sure that there aren't any other distractions out there, such as dogs outside in other yards, because that'll create a much higher challenge for her. Then once you start mastering that and getting to 30 seconds to a minute outside when it's calm, going outside and practicing this when dogs are um, out at the fence, this will sell this will help her build her self-control so she stops reacting and realizing that she's not causing the dogs to leave her or go away that she can be calm and non-reactive to the dogs and look to her guardians for direction the other things that we worked on was a reverse sit so the guardians still have to take her for walks even though they're working on her being less dog reactive and when they start to approach a fence that they know she's typically reactive to because there's a dog in there, they can work on the reverse sit exercise. I would encourage them to possibly cross the street to give a little more distance and to take a couple steps backwards, ask her to sit, keep doing this. It's having her look to you for direction and she's very focused on what you're doing. If she's focused on you and where you're moving and that she has to sit and kind of playing this like almost uh, dance game, she can't have her mind on the dog so she is, dogs can only focus on one thing at once so we want her to be focused on the uh, reverse sit exercise and not on dogs on the other side of the fence all right the um, do, 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 do. and I would practice this each time that um, you're out taking her for a walk use the martingale collar as a good um, intermediary until you get to the loose leash walking um, and then you can start to just not use the martingale around her body and you can use um, 
you can just use some treats. Remember to always reward her with um, treats, and you have about 30 seconds to reward her or disagree with her. You can use the escalating consequences to disagree with her when she's uh, giving, displaying unwanted behaviors, and when she does positive behaviors, you can reward her with petting with a purpose. All right, remember everything you do trains your dog, only sometimes you mean it.